And we're live. We're here. <laughs> we're in the room. It's happening. Boom, boom, boom. So, we're in the room. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Let me hear you say way oh. Because <laughs> um, this is, get back, go back to 1992, because that's what we're doing today. We're going back in our time machines to 1992. And we are going to go back to a world where the Halloween franchise is kind of in a bit of limbo. Well, it's always in a bit of limbo, but uh, <laughs> complicated legal issues. Oh, it's always complicated legal issues. But this is where this is where it changes a little bit because in '92, um, Miramax via Dimension um, uh, bought the rights to the Halloween series. Um, mm -hmm. The the interesting thing was that at the same time, John Carpenter had teamed up with New Line to try and outbid them uh, unsuccessfully. Now, his idea was about being on a space station. <laughs> now, I'm here with the world's most foremost um, space station based. Hot, no. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm in mean, space horror, right now. Hot, yeah, he's in, space, in cyberspace. <laughs> um, the horror aficionado, Al Lacard. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you invited me. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, well, this, I'm, I'm always down to talk about Halloween. Awesome. Good or bad. <laughs> and you've got your, 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 your suitably dressed. I am. I am. I got my. Uh... Yeah, that's go. good. Well, yeah. I, like I said to you before we went, I, I'm I'm not still wearing the same clothes from last night, but I am wearing. I did switch back into my um, sure. Rob's Vintage Video T-shirt, but uh, it's getting a bit chilly, so I put a little uh, jumper on as well. There you um, go. Now. What now we've talked about our sartorial elegance it is um the the idea for this was that um that maybe if it had gone in a different direction we would have kind of had um something very different now this is the script that in 90 by 93 miramax was on board as i said uh bob weinstein hired um a director gary fledder now, I don't know the guy in the name Gary Fledder. It looks like it should be Felder, but it says Fledder. Um, he recommended Phil Rosenberg. Now, I know Dan Rosenberg because he wrote um, Con Air and a few films like that. Um, but Phil Rosenberg, who was the first writer hired to write a script. So this is the first script for Halloween 666, The Origin. Yes. Um, and this was hated by Mr. Akkad, who, who, who was obviously the decision maker when it came to these films. Um, he threw this script across the room after he finished <laughs> reading it. Um, I wonder how far it got. I wonder how big the room was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that side of it, I do not know. Um, the weird thing is, after this was made, um, after this script, this first script was done, the next person to be offered to make the film was Tar uh, Quentin Tarantino, who oh. wanted um, the gentleman who wrote Evil Dead, Two, I think uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of the gentleman. Now, this is where um, just before this is where Fledder dropped creative differences. This version didn't get made, but I thought it'd be interesting because it's only been within I think the last year or so, maybe even a bit less, that this has been available for people to see the full first draft. So as you can see on the front, it has the date of when it when it was written. Yeah. Um, so just like our traditional wrestling, we have to mention wrestling at some point, going to take you through this as like play by play. We're not going to read every, I'm not going to read every word, but play by play and then just kind of tap up Al as the um, color commentator. We should have done this yesterday, April 6th. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> we should have done. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, man. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Of course we're doing this on the 7th. That, that yeah. sums, yeah. Us up. That sums us up. Um, Halloween 777. It doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> not, not, not quite, no. no. Quite. Is, that, is that even a thing? Does even 777 mean anything? I don't know. <laughs> Almost the number of the beast. Almost. Yes. Uh, yeah. um, so we've uh, we've got a few people in the chat already. I know Larry said he's ready for this one, the Horror Cat Dad. Check out Horror Cat Dad's channel. Um, and we've got a few people watching as well, so that's awesome. And hopefully we'll, we'll go through this. So we set the scene. We've talked a bit about what was happening in 92, 93. I'm going to make this full screen for me just so I can actually see it. Like I said, I'm not going to go through every single word. But this is Halloween 666, The Origin, 
by Phil oh, Rose. Okay, okay, so we, we, we have to kind of set this up a little. So Halloween 5, okay. yeah. right? Halloween 5, This that that's the one with Mute Jamie, right? Yes. So, okay, so... Um, I don't I don't remember exactly how it ended, but anyway. Um so Jamie survives and has gotten gotten her voice back. And yes. then at the end, Michael's in like a jail cell, right? Yeah, so uh, the 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 final the final let's I'll read the I'll read the synopsis of the of the last part of five. Yeah. So uh, Mika and the police return and take Michael into custody. He is locked in a cell at the police station until he can be transferred to the maximum security facility for the rest of his life. That always ends well. As <laughs> Jamie prepares to return to the clinic, a mysterious man in black um, who has been quietly observing all day arrives and shoots up the station. Jamie finds the bodies of Mika and several officers. It's quite underwhelming, actually, that scene, I think. As well as Michael's cell broken open and empty, realizing he has escaped again, she sobs in despair. Finn. There you go. So yeah, yeah, so the big mystery was who's the man in black? Yes. That was the and big mystery. I, I now, want I us remember... to see if he turns up in this. <laughs> <laughs> he might not. It's Johnny Cash. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> I remember when this movie came out. I, I, I remember when Five came out pretty vividly because my, my aunt and I were were big fans of the series and we, you know, we'd watch them all, all the time. And so five mm. had come out, and we we had watched five one night. And now remember, I'm like, um, twelve, maybe. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so okay. So we're watching five, and then it ends, and we're like, "What the hell? What you know? What what is? What? Why does it end like this?" So anyway, we came up with our own story for oh. six. Are you uh, Phil Rosenberg? I I'm that is my pseudonym. No. <laughs> <laughs> Al but, Rosenberg. Um, but yeah, my aunt and I came up with a story of who the man in black was and and everything. And I think our version is still better than the one that we got. <laughs> okay, so at the end of this, I want you to decide if you think it's better than this version. Yes. That um... yes, so I will. I'll, I'll I'll let you know. It's been a long time. I don't remember all the details, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, whether it's thrown across, the, whether we we want to throw your version across the room, and, or, uh, uh, he to might join this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so sixth of eight, oh yeah, sixth of April. I didn't even notice that on the thing. I didn't even click that that was yesterday. Um, <laughs> and it's Halloween 666 as well. How strange. It is. Um, so the, the one that we got, um, I did a bit of a deep dive into it because I, I won't say who, because I don't think it's fair, but I was supposed to be interviewing somebody from the film and, um, it, it didn't work out because it was supposed to be around Christmas time and we were both mm. really busy and it just kind of drifted away. Um, and it might happen again, but I watched it and I was just thinking like, obviously the, the, the real, I'll say the real one, the one that was made, the sixth one um, has, doesn't have Danielle Harris in it. Um, does have Paul Rudd in it or Paul Stephen Rudd as he's um, in his Paul first Steven film Rudd, role. Yes. Um who looks exactly the same now as he did when he was in this. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's insane. Um, so, yeah, that's the one we got. If people remember that. It's not universe. I would say it's not universally loved. When the, 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 the small amount of people that I told I was interviewing somebody from that film, they were like, oh, man, I, f I fucking hate that. <laughs> um, I yeah. don't mind it. I don't mind it. I like them getting silly, and I like it when films don't necessarily follow the path that you think they're going to take. They mm -hmm. go like uh, due to various things, like just down different avenues. So this one starts um, in um, rain, like a lot of these. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Um, and we meet a character um, who is not in the, uh, the the actual film and uh called dana and i believe she's like a talk radio host I, I don't want to give too much away but basically at the beginning of the film she's um described as being blonde fresh face beautiful um and they go yes naturally <laughs> um and she's she's sort of panicking around she's listening to the radio is driving along there's a special bulletin of course it is a an escape serial killer because that's what happens when you switch the radio on um, don't switch the radio on. It's the answer to this. <laughs> yeah, and you 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 you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. 
Um, so the, the lights, uh, there's lightning and thunder, that kind of thing, pulls in the gas station. There seems to be quite a lot of gas station action in Halloween films as well, I was thinking. There's a lot of white people getting murdered in gas stations or left in gas stations or stealing cars from gas stations. Maybe, maybe Rob Zombie uh, saw this one because uh, there's a lot Ooh, of gas stations in uh, yeah. Rob Zombie. Yeah. yeah, Rob's seen this before us. Yeah. And then he goes, no one appears for a few beats and as Dana, see I would say Dana, but I guess he's American, so Dana, Dana is about to get out of the car. A man. Dun dun dun. <laughs> you were supposed to be more shocked than that, Al. You just. Oh, you, you... oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, Not a man. Shit. Holy Not a man. Shit. It's a man, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Um, but this man, he is creepy. And he has long, rain soaked hair. Okay, so maybe not. Our um, titular hero, not titular because he's not called Halloween, is he? Um, <laughs> eyes aglow with the furies of the insane. Blue jumpsuit. Oh, okay, maybe it is our hero, but with long hair. Interesting. Maybe. Shoulder length, maybe? Hey, you know. Um, and like those worn by gas station attendants and sanitarium patients. Yes, we get the we get the um, the inference there. That's not <laughs> that's not <laughs> playing it. Uh, uh, man. Okay, so. Um, this is some, some excellent dialogue here to start us off. What'll it be, sweet thing? I, I, I feel like that would be a bet would be funnier if it was directed at Michael Myers. What'll it be, sweet thing? Um, four dollars worth of gas. I, I don't think that'd get me down the even down the street. Four dollars worth of gas in in today's money. Um, the man pumps the gas, leering at Dana. Dana, unnerved, attempts to ignore him. Plays with the radio. Now, obviously, the radio then continues to describe this um, this male and the man's idiot grin. So the guy in the petrol station, still at the windshield. Um, he's, he's supposed to be cleaning it, I guess. Yeah, he's cleaning it. And then um, the man goes to wash the windshield. All at once, he's wielding his washer like a baseball bat. Um, swinging it into the side window makes a jump. Um, I guess this is like a bait and switch that um, that that this guy is like she's thinking it's something scary because of what's going on on the radio, and it's not Michael. It's just a strange car washing man. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we are with that. So so we've got the radio on. Somebody's escaped, man in petrol station, creeping her out, smacking his washing washing equipment against the car to make her jump. We get that. Um, but the man's the man is attacking, is actually, I think the man actually is attacking her car, but maybe because he's desperately trying to get in to save himself, because the way I read that is that he's been well, he has, yeah, at the bottom, he's been cleaved across yes, his being throat. Cleaved. Is, he has yeah. been cleaved, yes. Um, surely he can only be cleaved by a cleaver. I don't know. Um, the, the man, <laughs> Michael Myers, known for his meat cleaver work. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the man stumbles backwards, blood boiling out of his gashed gullet. Oof, he's going for it on these first couple of lines. He crumples to the wet ground, dead. And that's it, yeah. Only then does Dana turn around to see in her back seat. Michael Myers. Michael okay. Myers. Woo! So it does be playing Our along boy. at home. That's um, third page Michael appears. <laughs> um, yeah, so what do you think of that for a setup? The, the old gas station setup. The, um, the... I mean, it's been done before. Um... Yep. It's not, some, not, that's not that um, boy, shocking or surprising. Or... I mean, if, if done well, it could have worked. Yeah. The guy was cleaved. He was definitely cleaved. Yes. Um, <laughs> my most Halloween mask shimmers in the rain as he rises up, dark and furious. Ooh, he's furious. Yeah, that I like to see. Yeah. <laughs> Dripping knife begins its. Does that say malefic? Malefic descent towards the screaming Dana. We cut to. Oh, it was a. It was a nightmare. Ah, oh, what is this? Is this Freddy? <laughs> yeah. Not in a cutlass. Is a cutlass a type of car? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just thinking, yeah. how can she be in a knife or a sword? <laughs> yeah, Cutlass yeah. is a uh, like a, like an old people's car. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that explains it. Right. I just glossed over that because I didn't want to seem like an idiot, but then I just decided I didn't mind being an idiot. Um, where is it here? Yeah, interior cutlass moving. Okay, that makes yeah. sense now. Yeah. I thought maybe it was a character name or <laughs> it was like inner <laughs> space and she was inside somebody's body. Um, right. So she wakes up. She's in her bedroom. She's bathed in sweat. You're right. Very Freddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It looks at her alarm clock just after midnight. Okay. It's minutes after midnight, you might say. Uh, maybe even her... two minutes after midnight? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe three. <laughs> That classic song, three minutes after midnight. Um, <laughs> scribbles into the notebook. Okay, so she must write. She's she's got like a dream journal. So it's so right. dream warriors. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Straight away, this this obviously this guy is like, <laughs> I don't like I don't like the Halloween franchise. It needs to be more. It more, needs to be more Freddy. More Freddy in this. In this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy versus Jason versus Michael versus uh, Dana. <laughs> And and then she's got a therapist appointment. Therapy session. And we meet Leslie Wolf, 40 ish, dark haired, solicitous. Hmm. Okay. Dr. Wolf has I was I thought, why is he not saying sexy, delicious, and beautiful or something? Um <laughs> so Dana, uh, Dr. Wolf has Dana's notebook on her lap. And that's when you wake up. Mm, yes, always. And the nightmare is just as vivid each time. So yeah, so we're in we're nightmare zones here. So re recurring nightmares, okay. Yeah. Um, they're re rooted in deeper childhood wishes and fears. <laughs> <laughs> this is very common. <laughs> it is, very. Yeah. That was my uh, my Sigmund Freud impression. Um, <laughs> I feel such a Freud after doing it. Um, sometimes these dreams for fulfill these wishes. I have never wished to be attacked by a vicious serial killer. Good point. That is a good point. You know, um, as obsession. most people don't. <laughs> yeah, your obsession with Michael Myers is curious. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Hmm. Because why couldn't they involve Mel Gibson in a desert island? Pop culture reference number one. <laughs> Mel Gibson back when he was the world's sexiest man. That is funny. Yeah, but God, those you have be just as traumatic. <laughs> yeah, now but if like I had a dream about Mel Gibson. <laughs> Don't worry, maybe a dream. Why couldn't my dream be about sexy people like Michael Myers? Or but, Mike Myers? but I do find it interesting about the line, your obsession with Michael Myers, because in the 2019, 2018 version, like mm. there's those like those reporters are like obsessed with Michael Myers. Yeah. And she's and she I think she's like a talk radio. Yeah, their podcasters. Mm -hmm. Just 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 swap this to, huh? to yeah, pod, yeah, swap this to podcasters and you've got the same. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's podcasters in horror film, modern horror films now. Everyone's a podcaster. That's right. Um, these dreams can be just as traumatic upon waking dinner. I, I, I said that I'm now turning into like a commandant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these dreams, they will like them. <laughs> uh, she smiles warmly. Oh, okay. She, she's not like that. Um, it's just like he won't leave me alone. Okay. Then we're in the Channel 6 offices. Ron Burgundy is there. <laughs> It's a local NBC affiliate. Dana right. sits in her office drinking coffee and reading Reuters. Ooh, she's smart. Something has caught her eye. Um, she sees the words Haddonfield and Halloween dun, dun, dun. in the blurb. <laughs> in, in the, the blurb. blurb. Uh, Robert Clifton, early 40s, handsome and affable. Oh, <laughs> handsome, affable. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a baggy linen suit. <laughs> And you would be if you were wearing a baggy linen suit. A baggy linen suit and a funky necktie. Yeah. What What do you think is on that? Mickey Mouse or Goofy or something? Probably something. Yeah, something Goofy. I'm sure. <laughs> Michael Myers mask. Um... <laughs> yeah, uh, Halloween. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Halloween. John Carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> um, taps on her open. Is there a dirt on the script there? Taps on her open. I door. believe so because I have yeah. it on mine too. And it, yeah. and it keeps moving <laughs> every time screen, I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, slightly startling her. Sorry, conference time. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. Suddenly, a dog, a dog appears. The dog does not want conference time. No, sorry, no conference time. <laughs> the dog's like, no. I'll see the horror dog appear. I'll see. I'll see. No, no, no conference time for you, Matt. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm gonna go on to the next page while I get rid of my um my my uh, the horror dog. 
The horror dog. Marcy the horror dog. Okay. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll let, I'll let you, you can catch me up on this next pick. I'll see All right, so let's see here. Uh, we can. See, oh, apparently, um, yeah, Dana does not like the tie, so uh, she follows. She follows him out, taking the Brutus with her. Okay, so now we go to a conference room during a, a, a lovely staff meeting. Staff meetings are oh so fun. I, I've had my share. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, yeah, cigarettes, coffee. This is definitely the early '90s with the cigarettes and coffee inside a building uh with a in inside of a staff meeting so so far if i missed you you've missed that she has joined a staff meeting Ooh. and there are cigarettes and coffee there better be cigarettes and coffee in this staff meeting yes so you know it's got to be 80s or 90s you know hmm. cigarettes and coffee <laughs> cooking non-fat brownies with uncle pete i just spotted that line <laughs> well is this what they call office banter i i guess Gosh, hmm. yeah, cooking non-fat brownies with Uncle Pete. That is that's that's probably you know what that's probably the uh, the subtitle to Halloween Six Six Six. Cooking non-fat brownies with Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete could, is actually a pretty good horror uh, title. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe not the brownies part. Um, <laughs> so we're talking then about different things going on in the like. At, yeah. the, um, at the um at the yeah. station, cancer different wing, stories, this cancer and in the hospital. Yeah, um, no worry about cancer story. causes cancer. <laughs> Brinkman seems like a bit of a bit of a dick. Um, not more yes. freaking. He's he's the um, Perry White of this situation. Maybe I don't know. Well, wait, the non-fat brownie as carcinogen. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, very funny. What have you got? I don't even think that was funny. What have you got today? Move me, Geraldo. <laughs> <laughs> so with, with Mel Gibson and Geraldo, pop culture reference. Wait, two. wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Is Geraldo going to open up King Tut's uh, <laughs> pyramid and find Michael Myers? Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That oh my gosh, one. I would, I would totally watch that and see, and 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 and, 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 and see Geraldo. Uh, off by Michael Myers, <laughs> yeah. inside of King Tut's. Uh... <laughs> uh, uh, Her Geraldo, um, do you reckon he would have a uh, cameo in this? <laughs> he would have to, yeah. Or, or you could have uh, Tom Atkins play Geraldo. That would be good. That would, that that would work too. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd that like would that. work too. Um, and then we've got a mention about, of course, because it's the nineties, assisted suicides. Um, about people doing that before Kavorkian. Because Kavarkian has to be mentioned too. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Google it, it's, kids. <laughs> this this is the nineties, after all. Yeah, Kavarkian. People are obsessed with him, weren't they? They 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 kind of were, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember Kavarkian being on like all the talk soup things. All I used to watch. Talk, I didn't watch American talk shows. We didn't get many of them, but we got talk soup for some reason. And um, I remember like always about Kavarkian. <laughs> So yeah, he'd be a good character in a horror if somebody did like the Kavorkian killer or the well, he's, uh, the Kavorkian murders or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good one. Um, so yeah, we're talking about uh, so so Brinkman, who seems to be the boss, is like ah, suicide can. So I want to be entertained. Are you not Dana, entertained? he goes to Dana and she's like, um, how about Haddonfield? They're celebrating the first Halloween for the first time since the last murders in 1989. And he goes, the Myers murders? The Nancy <laughs> Myers murders? No. Um, <laughs> the, the Mike Myers murders? Um, right, but it's a story about recovery. Last month's Money magazine. Money. Is that a real thing? It is. It is indeed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Money. That's just so on the nose. What's the magazine yeah. about? Money. Money. <laughs> As uh, <laughs> Shane McMahon owns that magazine. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the most livable sounds in America. How funny! As if, as if, like a place where your life expectancy is about ten years old <laughs> would be the most livable <laughs> town in America. About three years after mass no, murder, seventeen, seventeen. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> it was, oh, oh, yeah. No, but the last murders were in eighty nine, and we're in ninety four. Well, yeah, but 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 they were all high school people. They were all. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, seventeen years old. Oh, I thought you meant seventeen yeah, years it, ago. Eighty nine was when five happened. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I got my numbers of years and numbers of ages of people mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many numbers. No. Um, 
<laughs> Munda, 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 Murder, Welcome Murder. to the Munda, Munda, um, Munda <laughs> Civic pride, a town haunted by its unspeakable past, very gothic, titillating without being tabloid. I like it. I like it. Yeah, Dana and Clifton ignore Monica's swat. We know what you like. Oh, okay. So Clifton and Brinkman maybe fancy Dana because she's so beautiful. Right, right. Yeah. yeah she's yeah. super happy, so you know what. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what, but yeah, I can guess. <laughs> uh, they are looking at Brinkman for a verdict. Okay, you take it, Dana. Me, sir? Me, sir? <laughs> Me, sir, daughter? Misa, Misa, go to heaven for you. <laughs> this is where Jar Jar Binks enters the screen. <laughs> it's a very strange take. Um, it this is. is the first. This is very uh, weird. Yeah. The the origin of Jar Jar Binks in Halloween Six 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 is unknown <laughs> to many fans. Uh, baptism by fire. I, I see. In the UK, we'd say baptism of fire rather than baptism by fire. Mm. Um, I could go with her boss. Oh, Clifton wants to be oh, with Dana. Clifton wants in, yeah. Yeah, Clifton. No Clifton. See, <laughs> seeing as how it's a virgin gig in the field. Nice word choice. Oh, Monica. <laughs> Monica, you little snide. Sounds like a plan. I'm giving, I'm giving Brinkman a deep voice. Um, and you might want to contact Dr. Sam Loomis. Now, this is the controversial bit I know about this script, that Loomis doesn't appear very much in this film. Mm. Um, he was Michael Myers' doctor when all hell broke loose in Haddonfield. Okay. Interesting. Finally, some truth. <laughs> yes. Yeah, finally, was something we can recognize here. It's not about Geraldo or Kevorkian <laughs> or petrol stations. And then we cut to a white road figure. So I think this might be the sort of, um, oh, what are they called? The, the group of people, the whole thing that goes into the films that people didn't like, maybe. That group, I can't think like this. Oh, of... like yeah, yeah, with the, the the runes and all that. Yeah, the witchcraft guys or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. So we're in a Celtic village, circa thousand BC. Oh wow. Okay. Halloween. Um. Halloween three territory. <laughs> a virtual reality computerized world. Oh no, War Mama Man. Here we come. Oh, Multicolored three D simulation. A riot of hues and shadows, startling phantasmagorica. Gory, gory, yeah. phantasmagoria. Sorry. Yeah. I nearly got that's it. That's a that's a great video game, by the way. Phantasmagoria. Is it? It is. Yes. I didn't know. Oh. Is that where he stole it from? Do you think? And um, probably because it was prevalent in the early nineties. So. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So the robe figure is bought. The robe figure is brought to an altar, festooned with body parts, maces, scepters, and entrails. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like what you did with the place. Yeah. Very um, nice. He holds a jewel encrusted dagger. Not a cutlass. Um, he raises the dagger. So this is a sacrifice sacrifice part, I imagine. And the white robe figure enters the ceremony. Our virtual replay of what we've just seen. Uh, what? So we see it twice? He's ushered down by the high priest. And just as the dagger is read, another flash, and then we're back at the scene's beginning. God damn it. Cut to... Oh, so they're playing a game. It's a game. Ah. They, keep die they keep dying. Oh, it's just okay. a game. Because ah. I was like, why is this turning into uh, champagne and bullets with the with the high priest? And uh... <laughs> yeah, or um, Groundhog Day, where we're reliving the same yeah thing, <laughs> thing over, over, over again, yeah. over again. Yeah, Happy Death Day. <laughs> um, the virtual. I don't mind Happy Death Day, by the way. Um, the virtual reality user curses again and dismantles his apparatus. The tactile sensor, equipped gloves, and head-mounted dis. Oh, it's the proper. Headset, yeah. gloves, wires. Um, hacker, come on, let me through. So this character's called Hacker? Or, oh, he's just, he is a hacker. The oh, that's hacker. Like very on, on the nose if yeah. his name is like Bob Hacker. <laughs> um, uh, climb the dark stairway leading to the, the hacker. Continues to ride the joystick. Work the toggle. He continues okay. to ride that joystick. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Wow. I'm so, don't need to say anything there. The filthy boots approach the steel attic door. They open it. Ah. Scream. The hacker howls in terror, ripping off his head mount, and it's Tommy Doyle, 29 years old. Tall, yes. lean, and wild-haired. So they kept Tommy Doyle, which is interesting. Yeah. Because they he, wanted the same actor. He, hadn't been, he hadn't been in one of the movies since, what, part two? I think so, yeah. They wanted, they wanted the yeah. same guy. They tried to get hold of the same guy, I read. Um, yeah. Even though they were quite happy to get rid of Jamie and bring in a different Jamie. 
Um, yes. But yeah. Poor, poor J- J- JC Brandy, who ended up playing Jamie <laughs> in part six. Yeah. Poor old Brandy. Um, he turns to face the intruders, two teenager, teenagers, both 17, Mickey and Bad News. It's bad News. So, wait, so is this, a, is this, bad, is this bad News Brown? What, I think um, it is. So he's like, <laughs> a proper angry face on him. Bad news. Uh, he must have had so many headaches, Bad News Brown, because he was always scowling. Always scowling. He was, yes. Um, of course, we scare him. He's always scared. That's why he's trembling Tommy. Oh, that's a bit harsh. He's been through a lot. Um, we're having a party tonight, Tom. Lots of chicks. Lots of chickarinos. Lots of chicken, chickari, chicos, chickies, chickaroonies, eaters. Um, we'll appreciate it if you just stay the hell up there. Oh, okay. Not invited. <laughs> no, no. Start ranting and raving. I think. Do you think that's um, uh, an error in the script? No, start ranting and raving. Oh, I would imagine. Because yeah. no, nobody goes, no, start ranting and raving. No, start. No, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I think you say not start ranting and raving. Oh. No, start ranting and raving. Uh, oh, I, no. mean, I, I guess somebody could say it that way. Oh, it, no, ranting natural, and raving. Yeah, no, ranting and raving would be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but who am I to correct this? It's the first draft. Come on. Um, like the 4th of July party, I'm this close to taking Kim Kreshkin into my room. Trembling Tommy starts going off. At, oh, just going to take her into his room. That's it. And then what? Leave. Um, yeah. Trembling Tommy starts going off about Michael Myers and the gods of Harvest. And then bang, Kimmy's too spooked to give up and play it all to give up. <laughs> She's, that's what you want from a woman, isn't it? She's just like, I give up. You know what? No. Yes. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, <laughs> do you know what? I give up. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll have sex with you. I, you know, I, I, I can. Up. I, I can see why uh, Mustafa did not in, enjoy this script. They just threw out it. <laughs> <laughs> so your version's already yes. too much higher than this. I, I would um, say so. yeah. And for some reason, they then hoot and howl, disappear back down the stairs. Tommy watches them go. He drops his head mount frustrated. Um, oh, it's an attic apartment, and it's a virtual shrine to Michael Myers' law and legend. He's got the string and the pictures up. Mm-hmm. Books, papers, computer diskettes. Ooh, a female version of a disc. Um, religious artifacts, talismans, totems, a true pack rat's lair. Okay, so Tommy's like gone into full. What would we? How would we describe that? Well, it, it kind of um, sounds like he's in uh, uh, Lori mode from 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he's he's so, uh, he's, he's like um, yeah. He's he's um, he's just obsessed. Yeah. He's stopping his friends making out with girls and all kinds of stuff. Um, Okay, we look at a laminate from the Haddonfield landmark dated November 1st, 63. Toddler kills sister in real life Halloween horror. Oh, I've heard of that. Tommy yanks the disc, not the diskette though, out of his computer drive. (laughs) It's entitled Sam Hain in search of dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. A noise from outside. Tommy goes to the slatted window, looks down. Mickey and Bad News are getting into a red pickup truck. Bad News looks up to the attic. Halloween's coming, Tommy. Woo! Woo-hoo! Yeah. Is it like, woohoo? Or is it like, woo? Woo-hoo. Like, oh, yeah. so scared. Who knows? <laughs> it's all in the delivery of the actor, this one, I think. But then Bad uh, News hums the uh, the Halloween theme, apparently. Oh, yeah. Do you think he yeah, just starts going? I know. I think that was River Dance I was doing. <laughs> I, I think I got Halloween mixed up with River Dance. Um, it happens. It happens a lot. Um, <laughs> he goes back to his room. He looks at a yellowed photograph of a young boy and Lois, Laurie Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis's yeah. character from the first film. For those Did of you, know? you who didn't know that, particularly the, the producers <laughs> who have <laughs> been involved from day one. Um, they are carving a pumpkin. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, if we can get, if we can ask her, if we can use a picture of her, if that's okay with her. <laughs> um, <laughs> otherwise, just a picture of a woman and write Laurie Strode on the side. Random, random lady that kind of looks like a woman wearing sweatshirt saying Laurie Strode on it. Um, <laughs> uh, Tommy stares at the photo, somewhat wistful, and then we hear him say through a megaphone, Annie Brackett, Robert Thornton, Linda Yannick. I know Annie Brackett. I remember Annie Brackett. Yeah, but actually, I'm not sure of the other one. Oh, 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 Linda, Linda and Robert. That's the um, that's PJ Souls and uh, and Bob. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, got you. Um, I remember there's um, 
no, actually, it's, I was, I'd send myself to sleep if I went down this anecdote. Okay, um, a light drizzle makes the day the day makes the day brood. They brood. The day okay. is brooding. We're personifying the. I, I didn't know days could brood. Yeah. Wow, this guy's a special writer. Um, yes. <laughs> Sammy <laughs> Dial's on the part. He's got a megaphone, so he just shouts out people's names. Apparently, Jamie Lloyd, Emily Meeker, Brady Johnson, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> uh, a small crowd has gathered. Yeah, as you would if you had a megaphone, you were just shouting names that maybe yeah, a lot yeah. of people didn't know. Um, he's exhorting the names. Megaphoned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. geez, here we go. More, more people. Yeah. Alison Platt, Edward Eunice, Stuart Fry, the victims. They cry out to you from their graves, from place of darkness. Do not allow Halloween to return to Haddonfield. Oh, okay. He's like, you're all doomed. Yes, yes. Uh, Tommy's gone crazy. Do not allow a Halloween. Uh, it's an affront to your to their memories. They cry out to you. Stop the madness. Stop the horror. Okay, so what do you think of this part so far? Then, so we've got to a point where we've we've met Tommy. How do you, what do you think of Tommy's introduction? Um, <laughs> the the way they're pre the way he's presented, it's it's he's freaking annoying as hell, and like. <laughs> <laughs> so unlikable um and just yeah 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 like like i'd see this guy i'd go the other way yeah tommy's yeah tommy's not um i wonder if it, yeah it'd be interesting to see paul rudd try and play this because he's just so inherently likable to play yeah. him to have him play like a wacky kind of guy because he plays it pretty pre the tommy he plays is pretty steady eddie in the film isn't he yeah yeah and and, and very likable like like yeah like like yeah. i i liked him from the jump yeah so, yeah i agree and um, this would have been an interesting first role um yeah. the sheriff this is a great bit of description a sheriff's car pulls up flashes its light gives a burp of its siren it burps <laughs> sheriff norv yeah. norv what's norv got for norv, norv? Lindman. norv, norv. Okay. Okay. Much more. like ourselves, he's early forties, cocksure. Um sure, sure he has a cock. <laughs> steps out, <laughs> steps out of his vehicle. He walks through the uneasy crowd up to Tommy. He snatches the megaphone. That's enough, Tommy. <laughs> Our new hero, North Lippman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I like North already. Yeah, North's awesome. <laughs> um this is the fourth time this week, Tommy. Oh fuck sake. Imagine <laughs> trying try, trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and Tommy's got his megaphone again. And the neighborhood weirdo shit is getting old, Tommy. Give it a rest. And with that, he walks back to the cruiser, Tommy's megaphone in hand. The crowd disperse. Because he can't yeah, shout yeah, without yeah, a yeah. megaphone. It's impossible to shout without a megaphone. And you see, you won't be able to hide. And when he returns, not when he comes home. But no one will give a shit. No one Show's over. <laughs> Are we talking about the movie now? <laughs> Sounds like it. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. This wow. Is, okay. Yeah. This is this is worse than the actual movie. <laughs> yeah, we're only a few. I don't know how many pages we're in. 20, 30, <laughs> 50. Um. So Dana's on the phone, spread out on the desk, phone book. Um. She's trying to find. She's trying to find. Um. Uh. Doctor Sam, Loomis. Yeah, Loomis. Yeah. Um. But she's looking at a book of Ted, but with Ted Bundy on it for some reason. Which makes um, no freaking sense whatsoever. Well, yeah. maybe maybe it was just around that time when he was um, on telly a lot. Maybe. Maybe 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 he had a chat show. Um, <laughs> no, no one has heard from him in three years. Yeah, you're certainly retired. Yeah, it's Donald Pleasance. He's like 99 years old. Um, she starts thumbing mindlessly through the Time Life book. She comes across grady visages of Bundy, Dharma, Ed Gein, Henry Lee Lucas, Gacy, and then Again. Michael Myers. Freaking Myers, baby. <laughs> the but best if you notice one it, of says, them all. it says we slash she. What? Oh, yeah. So we are. We're, we we're as person. in the audience? I yeah, we're, like, we're, we're in like a VR helmet yeah. watching her flick through a magazine. <laughs> Which is a, what? What are the excite? There's not really been a lot of exciting. Like I don't know if we say a, a page a minute. We're about ten minutes into this film, and there's other than the 
the guy getting sliced across his neck, which we don't actually see. There's been yeah. no action. In the um, very beginning, the very like first two minutes of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um it's Ed Brinkman again. Walk you to your car. Yeah, there's a lot of pervy office guys in this. Yeah. Um I tried to reach Dr. Loomis in Smith's Grove. They said he retired. Okay, so it's just basically this is all about trying to find him. Uh, yeah. She can't find anything about Michael's parents. And then we're going to run them like mad. Get you at a big share for your coming out party. Good night. Oh, so they've got promos out on the TV. Dana goes to, to Haddonfield because that's people really want to see that. Yes. yes. Like woman yeah. goes to local town where so, murders happened years ago. So, so far, this is Halloween 666, the search for Dr. Loomis. The search for Dr. Loomis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's it. And Dana, we don't know a lot about her, but what we know is that she's She's a go-getter. Um, and Dana is alone then in the parking lot. A pair of scabby tomcats forage in the garbage cans nearby. Yeah, I always think Halloween films miss a lot of scabby tomcat action. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is going um, on? What is happening? Oh, we're in a car park. There's a shadow of a tall figure. Who could it be? The tall man from Phantasm. Um <laughs> Dana jerks around, terrified, and sees that it is merely the shadow of a transponder, the transfunctioner, the transponder and antenna, which gives the illusion of a being manlike, of being man. Sorry, that's my fault. I read that wrong. So of he, being manlike, not a manlike so, being. So, so he wrote the jump scare into the script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We don't want to. Yeah, we want to spell it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, she gets in a car. Of course, it's a late model Honda. And she says to herself, get a fucking grip. It would be better if she was like, get a fucking grip, Dana. Like that, speaking to herself. Right? Cult, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be better. Yeah. If we're going to go all out cheese. Um, go for it, yeah. Yeah. A banner says the night before Halloween, Halloween party. So we're in a corner tavern. Evil Dice Tonight Tavern. <laughs> Evil Dice um, Tonight. <laughs> if that's in this script, I'm going to like flip it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep chanting things. Keep <laughs> chanting things. Uh, raw boned and beer drunk. I've never heard of anybody being described as beer drunk. Beer drunk. What? Love it. Beer drunk. They are dressed like droogs, the nihilistic street gang from Stanley Kubrick's oh, yeah. Clockwork Orange. Brackets a much better film than this. Yeah. Um, bowler hats, canes, suspenders, jack boots, jock straps worn on the outside. The yeah. whole lot. We're ripping off the whole film here. The whole thing. Yep. Effort. And if on the next page, um, singing in the rain is in it, then I'm not. I'm not reading the rest of this. Singing uh, in the rain. Uh, Droog number one. Oh no, we are continuing. Oh god, oh jeez. Where to now? How about a little in out? In out. Oh fuck's sake! They do, giggle and do, stagger on. Do they them. fancy a little bit of the ultraviolence? <laughs> I think they do. I think they do. Um, city streets, swirling fog. Um, a little tribute to John Carpenter by having fuck. Um, graffiti scrawled storefronts. Homeless people shuffle about listlessly, listlessly, shivering, foistering out their change cups. All four drunk droogs pass by. Oh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Rats scurrying. Droogs notice there's something in the... Hold on, mate. I bet he's in a terrible English accent as well like that. Like, bloody hell, mate. <laughs> he what? His friends follow. They see a sleeping farm, a homeless man. Ooh, could it be? Could it be Satan? our friend? No. Could it be Satan? <laughs> no, could it be Michael Myers? Come on, man. <laughs> Get with the program. Um, a homeless man, though we don't see his face, sleeping on his bed of rubbish. My empire of dirt. Um, well, look what we have here. Anyone up for a bit of the old ultraviolets? Oh, Thank Al, you. you wrote this. This is oh, your script. It is. That's the reveal at the end. Um, <laughs> <Bum>. Drew... <laughs> Drew pokes a jackbooted toe at the slum slumbering derelict. The derelict stirs, but sleeps on. What was the song they sung? I don't know. Something from West Side Story. Oh, for fuck's sake. God, good Not Lord. even good drink. No, it was singing in the ra Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, oh. good call. Oh, I'm seeing it in the. Do, do you reckon they'd have to pay for the rights to it if you're singing it? In the, oh, man. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Dimension or whoever was doing this that didn't own. Uh, I was thinking it didn't own right. Clockwork Orange. <laughs> <laughs> um, they probably didn't even have a chocolate orange. And he lets loose with a furious kick right into the bum's midsection. See, again, that reads really strange in the UK. The bum yeah, lets out yeah. a, the bum lets out a groan. <laughs> <laughs> Just singing in the rain. Another kick, this time to the head. Droog 2 joins in. What a glorious... What is the point of this? Yeah. It's like, so oh people just switch God. off this film and go and watch A Clockwork Orange. Brunk. <laughs> Brunk, DC Comics enters the room. A cane <laughs> to the head. They are going to join. They're going to town on the bum. <laughs> I love it. Grow up, Matthew. Grow up. Oh, uh, Drew yeah. Ford doesn't like it. Well, no one likes it when you go to town on the bum. Um, <laughs> come on, guys. Well, some people. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, guys. That's like enough. Him. But they ignore him. I'm happy again, bloody hell, mate, Governor. Um. <laughs> Droog One's cane swings down for a skull shot, but its downward arc is stopped by a gloved hand. It's the Undertaker, or or Michael Jackson. Oh, my, it could be Michael Jackson. Michael Ma Myers. Oh. Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Sham. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, catching it in midair, the derelict's hand, and the derelict rises. The Derelict Rises is one of my favorite um, films, actually. Yeah. Yes. Dark and shambling. We go into the familiar subjective POV. Oh, that old familiar subjective POV. Derelict's POV. The Derelict's POV. And a strange man snatches the cane and wielding it like a spear, he drives it through the <laughs> Droog One's throat. Actually, this is pretty cool. Um, pinning Droog One to the alley wall, piked. Piked. Oh, he's a head on a pike. The derelict turns to Droog 2, grabs him in a headlock. With a single brutal twitch, he snaps the punk's neck Boom. and drinks from it like a can of beer. Uh, no, uh, you killed him. You fucking killed them. Yeah, Droog. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Um, Droog 4 is backing out of the alley with a roly-poly little butt face. No. Um, let's get out of here, Peter. But Droog 3 is frozen in fear. A rat. He loves rats. Skitters by in the dumpster. The derelict plucks the greasy rodent from its perch, holds the rat before his face. Why? Jaw drops, mouth opened, jams the rat into Droog 3's mouth, forcing it into his throat, matching it into his face, crushing both the vermin and the victim. That's quite creative. Okay, so what do you think of the Droog scene? Oh, um, I'm I'm <laughs> very I'm very pro derelict here at the <laughs> Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. I say that's an interesting kill, like smushing a rat into his mouth. That, that's unique. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's rat that, smushing. That, that was all right. Yeah, that was okay. That was that was a little different. Yeah, a little smushing going on. Um, and now we hear the labored breathing, and we realize that the derelict is da -da -da. our old friend, our old friend Michael. Oh, I I wrote our old friend. Our old friend, yeah. Did you really need to write that? It's like, like well, listen, script, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm struggling to, I'm struggling to write this whole script. So, yeah, I need, I need as many extra words as I can. Um, <laughs> okay, so then we're back to Dana. So that was the first real Michael introduction. That was the real Michael introduction, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah. So again, no, no, no man in black. No, no, uh, nope. no, nothing. Okay, like, 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 what, what? Like we we gotta know we gotta know who we got a little bit of to, a little bit of um Tommy a little Tommy a, a little bit of, of crazy Tommy yeah crazy Tommy <laughs> crazy Tommy crazy Tommy you know yeah he just like he's just like <laughs> just like Beaker I imagine him like Beaker <laughs> <laughs> you're all doomed yes he will die tonight he will die tonight <laughs> um so I think she's in. An apartment now? Is she in Haddonfield yet? No. No, believe. No. Oh man, she needs to get to Haddonfield. Um yeah. oh she lives with her grandmother. Um okay. yeah. who's watching Wheel of Fortune, pop culture reference again. Of course, of course. We should also notice grandma's mole, of course. A dark brown knob, <laughs> perhaps the size of a nickel on the side of her nose. Why? Why is this important for the story? 
maybe maybe the mole is gonna kill Michael. Mm. Michael's gonna see here and see the mole and be like, <gasps> "This is some great uh, foreshadowing." Yeah, by mentioning moles. Mole, um, moly, moly, mole. <laughs> we have to, we're not supposed to mention the mole. Um, Dana sits by her grandmother, takes her hand. Grammy gestures to the TV to Pat on the wheel. I guess that's Pat. Oh, Pat Sajak. Okay, Mr. Pat Sajak. Mr. Pat Sajak. I tell you, he really does it for me. Oh, gran <laughs> Granny's. <laughs> what is Gr this? Granny's hot for Sajak. <laughs> Hot for Sajak is a is a great is a great um, title. So, so what what a great line there by Grammy. I'd like to buy him a vowel. I buy him for a dollar. I buy him for a vowel. <laughs> Are you purposely trying to be scandalous? Oh poo! Oh poo! Oh, poo. You yourself, you yourself could do with some scandalous behavior. Is this person learning to write? You should do a lot less working and a lot more flirting, and maybe you wouldn't have to spend all your nights sitting with an old lady. Oh my god! Oh, oh wow! Man. These wow. outdated attitudes just won't do, Granny. Wow! Grammy. This is this is getting worse. What the about the fellow thing? at the station, Roger, Robert? What about him? Wow. I think he's too old. Don't think hey. of it as old. Think of it as well versed, seasoned. Yeah, listen to Grammy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we're just friends no, wow like dana notices something on the doodad on the doodad <laughs> crowded bureau oh my word what's a, do, what's a doodad a doodad is like a like like a doohickey uh whatchamacallit uh, oh whatchamacallit a what's yeah. it a thingy yeah a what's it yeah. okay it's a figurine that's what it is bronze mass soldier wielding a spear oh, man. do we need to know all this crap no, um, no, we don't. <laughs> a bo it's a bauble from one of Granny's gentleman callers. Probably Mr. Loomis, I'd imagine. That's my prediction. Granny's going out with Sam Loomis. Ah, uh, that's what I think. I don't know. I've not read. I've not read this one. Okay, 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 okay. She's eating white chocolate. Disgusting, Grammy. Disgusting. I hate white chocolate. What are you doing? As soon as she's out of this film, the bear. Um, well, she's out. Oh, can yeah. can you solve the puzzle? Madonna um Madonna's it, in that case, right? Is it Madonna? Is it not? Oh. Is it not fuck a fuck? Is it not fuck a fucking fuck? Um <laughs> doing the Andy Richter on where he's like um fucking fuck fuck. <laughs> Madonna um, is a nut. Madonna is a nut? No. Mad on a nut. <laughs> yeah, no, you're probably right. Oh, Madison Avenue. Okay, you dodo. I don't, I don't read. I literally read one line at a time. Um, <laughs> I feel such a fool. Madonna, I, I still like Madonna's a nut better. Madonna's a nut. Um, Dana, Dana waits for the old-fashioned cage and cable elevator when in the floor she slides open the door and steps in only to bump into Michael Myers. It won't be, will it? It won't be. It'll be something yeah. dressed. It's, it, it's, it's probably another dream. She shrieks, but then we see it's only a gaunt old man in a shabby suit. What? Well, what? Did, what? did I spook you, love? Did I spook you, love? <laughs> did I spook you, love? Oh, the, 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 he's also a droog. <laughs> everyone's why, a droog. Why the hell not? Yeah, everyone's a droog in this film. Yeah. You get a droog. He gets a droog. Everybody gets a droog. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. Right out of Dickens, six hundred beds, homeless shelter. Oh, this is what some I read that like. How has Michael managed to survive these years in a homeless shelter and nobody really noticing how odd he is and and, and how yeah. bloody his clothes get? Yeah, yeah. And never speaks and never speaks. Wears yeah. a mask. And, yeah. Carries a mask around. Yeah. One guy's passed out. His head hitting the floor sometimes, like a melon. Sometimes carries uh, decapitated heads around. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But, you Whatever. know, yeah. it's fine. Um, the familiar labored breathing announces an arrival. Michael enters the shelter. He's a regular there. Homeless men nod to him. Hello, serial killer. How are you? Hello, He's Mr. a regular Peter. here. Something on the TV catches his attention. Myers goes at it, shoving a young rag man out of the way. What is a rag man? Um, it is a Channel 6 promo for Halloween in Haddonfield. Oh, it's gonna fire him up, it's gonna make him want to go there. Oh, well, yeah. So she's called Dana Childress and she's going to be in Haddonfield. Blah blah blah. Fear has a homecoming, is the title of it. 
Mm-hmm. So, the so night, the of, night fear of back tonight. Fear has a homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's the homecoming dance. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you're invited. Um, Guest of honor. Right. So Michael's stood in front of the telly, essentially hogging the television, which is really bad manners when everyone else is trying to watch it. <laughs> the ragman shoves Michael. Michael takes his hand and snaps his wrist like a weak old baguette. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have the intention of laughing at this script when we read. When I started reading, I didn't have the intention of finding it hilarious. But who snaps somebody's wrist like a weak old baguette? That's a weak old baguette. That's right. Leaving the ragman to writhe on the floor and say, "Oh my, my baguette like oh, red. My, my baguette hand. Oh no, my bread like hands." Uh, okay, back to Tommy. Tommy's working in the hospital because he's sane. Um, right? Oh no, no, he's not. He's looking for Sam Loomis. Um, uh, but why don't you check with his secretary? Halloween 666, down. the search for Dr. Loomis. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, is smug a job requirement around here? Oh, he's getting into banter with this woman. Yeah. He's on the third floor of the Coxwing. Coxwing? Is that an in, in, in innuendo? Um, I, 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 certainly, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Room three, four, five, and then he goes. So, smug on that sucker, she says. Oh, he's, she <laughs> sent him to the wrong. She sent him to the wrong place. The coxwing, I imagine, is where they have their genitalia fixed. Um, the corridors are dimly lit. The banks of fluorescence wink on and off. Rorschach shadows on the wall. Why? Why say that? Why? Even because say that? because now they want uh, they, they they want to cross it with Watchmen. Of course. And yeah. uh, and have Rorschach uh, face uh, Michael at the end. <laughs> Rorschach versus Michael versus <laughs> versus Tommy um, versus Freddy. Yeah, versus Freddy versus versus uh, yeah, because we started off as Freddy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was going to say Tommy Pickles before as well. For some reason, I was going to say <laughs> <laughs> that bad party. Um, so lazy eyed, grinning, acne ridden, moaning. Is that just one patient or all of them? Um, oh, she sent him to the mental ward. Um, there's a madman giggling. And there he is, Dr. Sam Loomis, 71. Finally. We met him. Um, Dr. Loomis. Loomis nods. Tommy enters a little afraid. Uh, my name's Tommy Doyle, sir, from Haddonfield. This perks Loomis up a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he does a Tim Allen impression. Um, <laughs> worry in his eyes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Um, actually, that's pretty similar to how he played it, I think. Um, I suffered two heart attacks, young man. Yeah, you no, don't no, want to fine. assist me on a hat trick, do you? Haddonfield? Fuck that shit. No, it <laughs> um, from behind Tommy in the hallway, a sickly old man shuffles along the corridor. An ivy tree, his only companion. The man chatters <laughs> to an invisible enemy. Oh, man. <sighs> what the f- what is right, I'm, sk- I'm, I'm going to take an executive decision to skip some of this. Yeah, I was um, I was the little boy. We should Tommy- just get to the end. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, see, let's get to the end. Uh-huh. Um, I was the little boy. Laurie Strode saved the little Doyle boy. You've grown. Yes, that's how aging works. That's you. You're a doctor. <laughs> However, did you find me, Sheriff Mika, sir? Not Sheriff Beaker, um, but Sheriff. Be- yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember Sheriff Mika. He was good. Oh, me, me, me. Sheriff Bunsen and Sheriff Beaker. Um, ben has his own damn demons. Don't worry, he gets it on with um, Laurie Strode right near the end, so it's all good. Um, <laughs> poor bastard starting to sound an awful lot like I used to. Uh, la, la, la. No. I'm scared, Dr. Loomis. They never found the Lloyd girl. We didn't bring her back for this film. What? No, Daniel Harris? <laughs> <laughs> um, they could not find her. <laughs> we got JC Brandy. Who the hell is that? <laughs> uh, five cops were blasted to pieces. What if it happens again? Well, then it'd be ten cops. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Why is family has more sealed files than the damned Warren Commission? Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. So. Hey Siri, what's the Warren Commission? <laughs> U.S. Presidential Commission on the Assassination of John F. Kennedy. Ah, okay. I, 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 yeah, I didn't know the name of it. Okay. 
No, I didn't know that. Mr. Loomis is obviously a very intelligent chap. Obviously, yes. Obviously, he's doctor. Yes. He didn't go through. He didn't go through um, evil medical school for me to call him Mr. Loomis, did he? <laughs> that's, that's correct. <laughs> um, Tommy never was, never will be. I put it. Oh, I'm, I'm losing the. Yeah. Well. Same. <laughs> I've been researching the Festival of Samhain, the Feast of Fire, the Celtic New Year. Tommy, you need to go out and touch grass, my friend. Um, <laughs> cursed bloodlines, that sort of things. It's mere mythology. That's more Brian Blessed than Donald Pleasance. Gordon's alive! <laughs> uh, you know what? We, we might as well throw like Mr. Blobby in there, Mr. Too. Blobby is one of the things that he has been researching. Yeah. Feast of Life and Death featuring Mr. Blobby. <laughs> uh, a talisman, a Grigri, a charm, I don't know. Oh, okay, so Grigri the bronze Voodoo. soldier that Dana's grandmother has is the only thing that can kill Michael Myers. Yeah. The doodad. The, the, the Grigri doodad, yes. Grigri doodad. <laughs> the, uh, what's the, yeah, the doohickey. Yeah. Um, right. I'm tired, son. Devoting my life to the darkness. Oh my word! Just everything is said. He I'm, says I'm, everything in this. I'm I'm tired of the script. Yeah. <laughs> I can't leave. Put all this behind you. I can't do that, sir. The film is only. We're only about a quarter of the way into the. <laughs> um. Uh, damn, it's too heavy for this all. But basically, Loomis is opting out. I think this whole thing is about him opting out. Yeah, and then um, and then Loomis is no longer in it. I guess. Yeah, pretty much. He's just yeah. like, nah. Yeah. No, nah, I don't care. Which which is weird because 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 he died during the making of the oh, movie. Oh yeah, true. And so that's why they had to change it. That's why they yeah. changed. It. That's why they changed it to to the what we ended up being the theatrical version. That's a good uh, point. So he really genuinely couldn't be bothered. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, like they, even even from the early days, he's like, nope, nope. He maybe read the script, and that's what. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I'll say no more. Um, so we talk about death penalty. Good idea, bad idea. I don't know. They're, that kind of thing. With, what's her, with Dana. A re oh, a reference to um, Arsenio Hall. Oh, this guy wants Arsenio Hall to be the ooh, first ooh, to be ooh, 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 to ooh. have the death penalty. Wow. I wonder if this writer has had a bad experience with Arsenio Hall or just doesn't like coming to America, yeah, which maybe. is impossible because it's an amazing film. Come on, man. It's the best. Welcome to Zulunda. Yeah. Prince Jaffy Joffa. Um, King Jaffa. Is it King Jaffy Joffa? King Jaffy Joffa. Um, okay. It's um, Michael Myers' brain. Blake, stop fooling around. What? Uh, oh, she's reading about him. It's not his actual brain. The the, um, the further along we get, the less sense this is making. True. <laughs> it's less sense. And then the we're in the Channel 6 van and we're on the way to Haddonfield. Okay. They're finally on the way to Haddonfield, halfway through the goddamn movie. Yeah. <laughs> They're having beef jerky. Uh, Mom's buried, but we've got pop on ice. Oh, funny. Are we in another petrol station? Hardee's? Oh, oh no. Hardee's is a um, uh, fast food joint. Oh, uh, okay. Right. So it's decorated for Halloween. Yeah. Do people do that? Is it, not, is it like McDonald's decorated for Halloween? <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is where we meet Hardly, 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 Hardy Lomax. Hardly, he's Hardly Lomax. He's hardly sixty-four, low, right? the, the balding proprietor, all ear and nostril whiskers. Um, <laughs> all like his nostril is like just looping around. It's, it's just one, yeah. It kind of looks like a mustache. Comes out of his nose, round his ears. It looks like the breathing apparatus from June, but hair. Um, exactly. Yeah. Dune. Um. Shop and Chop official Halloween properties. Well, they're selling official merchandise from this film in the film. <laughs> they're already, yeah. They're already, they're already, it's so meta, man. Nice. I like it. Um, Halloween memorabilia, plastic butcher knives, maps, videotapes, books, Fangoria magazines. See, mm -hmm. I like horror. Uh, blood spattered t shirts, the legend I spent Halloween in Haddonfield, and all I got was this lousy t shirt and oh. this slash carotid. <laughs> Slash carrot. Okay, so if it just said I spent Halloween in Haddonfield and all I got was this lousy T-shirt, I would totally wear that. Yeah, but, yeah. He has to add a bit more. He always has to add a bit more. 
Yeah. Um, and then this is the best bit of the whole film because we know that the three evil masks featured in Halloween, the pumpkin, the witch, and skull. Halloween three, shall I say? Da, da, da. My favorite. Um, and then she's on camera. Oh no, she's not. Excuse me, sir. I'm David Childress from Channel Six Chicago. And um, blah 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 blah. Interviews him. Controversial Haddonfield decision to celebrate Halloween after five years respite. What are you selling? We know we know what he's selling because you just told us um, in great detail. Never been a lousy rubber mask that got anyone into trouble, has there? Oh, well. So everyone's going to be wearing Myers masks, much like in um, the last Scream film where they're all wearing the in in, in the in the, um, the underground train um, thing. Yeah, so, I yeah, yeah I've, I've 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 stopped watching the screen movies. So ah okay, so yeah, so in the New York one, they're in the um, what's it called, the subway, um, and they're all all of the people on the train are screen face, face, guy. face screen yeah. face, ghost face, yeah. <laughs> screen face is why screen face, screen face, screen face. Uh, a Mint Myers is just as m worth as much as an eighty-seven Bundy or a ninety-two Jeffrey Dahmer. Who needs Mickey Mantle's rookie card anyway? Serial yes, killer cards. Serial killer cards. Yeah. Because ah. why? There's a there's a card collection for everything. Is that true? Probably. Like in '92, do you reckon? That... I'm not sure about '92. I mean, maybe nowadays. But... Probably now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sure. Somebody uh, like I'm not sure about. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure or... about, about then. Yeah. But... yeah. Yeah. I thought it was like a known thing because everything else has been like Asenio Hall and Kevorkian and yeah, things yeah. that like people know. And then it's like um, serial killer cards, like it's a thing. Um, fake knives. You can stab your buddies without hurting them. Can you stab someone without hurting them? I, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, ow. <laughs> Ooh, ah, I'm, a, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> a cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, sorry. Yeah. What's that? A melon? Cantaloupe? Yeah. What? yeah, yeah melon. Um, only the knife is quite real. You're having to translate this film to me. Um, as it slices cleanly through the flute, Romax is shocked. That's weird. Maybe it needs new batteries. What <laughs> memories of Michael Myers? This is like the Blair Witch Project this where is... they're interviewing that old dude. God, they, yeah, this is ah, this is terrible. Like, this the is... only ghosts I believe in are the ghosts of Andrew Jackson. Abe Lincoln and Alexander Hamilton. Wow, we're predating Hamilton. Um, Okie doke, and happy Halloween. Right, okay, that was a waste of time. Uh, oh, Ben Meeker's here. Sheriff Meeker. Yeah, me, 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 me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you watching him, Norv. Yeah. Most of them don't know Michael Myers from Michael Jordan. <laughs> I was just reading. I was just reading about Michael Jordan's flu game before. I didn't know. I didn't know that was a. I think. Wait, um, you know, Michael Myers, that, that basketball player guy, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember Michael Myers and Scotty Pippen and him don't really get on that well in real no, life. No, no, not really. Really. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, so, Norv is big pals with Ben. <sighs> he, he was in Space Jam, wasn't he? <laughs> Michael Myers. Michael Myers was in Space Jam, right? Yeah, I remember that. Um, trick or treats. Let us pray for the victims. People are protesting, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, Dana is doing her spiel to camera. <laughs> the this She says that there's 21,000 people live in Haddonfield. That's quite a big town. We could kill people yeah. for years and years and still not <laughs> run, out, run out of people. Got more than enough. Um, my son Brady was killed five years ago. Out of respect for him and others, the ban should remain in effect. I guess Brady will be in a character from the other film. Yeah, yes. From five, I think. Four or five. Mm -hmm. um, the old man says Halloween schmalloween, which I think is a good line. <laughs> Malloween. It's all about, it's all about tales. tales. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's people coming into town with BMWs and car phones and suspenders. Again, suspenders are very different in the UK. Like we're talking stockings and suspenders. So it's very odd. Um, it's like get a life grown men, women afraid of ghosts maybe Myers is going to bring Bigfoot Nessie and Elvis, that would be cool <laughs> I'd watch that Bigfoot Nessie, Elvis and Michael Myers and Michael Myers the new boy band <laughs> hey Larry, good to see you my friend I can see on my um, 
phone. I've got I'm full screening, so I'm not putting comments up, but I can see you. So yeah, I'll, I'm, I hope you're. Um, I'm doing air quotes, enjoying us reading the script. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> um, so Tommy Doyle's back. Oh god, this and this guy again. Jesus, and he's back and he's he's talking to Dana. So they've met now. The two main characters of the film, I guess. Well, Michael and Loomis is gone. Mika yeah. and Beaker and Norv and all those guys are not as important. Dana and Tommy. Seems to be. He's a, he's the oldest survivor now, Tommy. Is not is Mika not the oldest survivor? He, yeah, Mika was the, the the sheriff, right? Yeah, yeah. And he um, had a run in. He had a run yeah. in with him, so surely he's a survivor too. Yeah, yeah. So Tommy's lied straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dana. I'm the oldest survivor. <laughs> um, it's Father Carpenter, the priest from Halloween Four. Ooh, meta. But he's ranting. Um, Damnation knows no vacation. Nice, yeah. he's a rapper. Damnation knows no vacation. It is safe to babysit in Haddonfield again, is it? I think again. And he has a toothless grin. It's a priest with no teeth. There you go. Will evil die tonight? That's the question. You know, although, although it would be funny if they'd got John Carpenter to play Father Carpenter with no teeth. With no teeth. Yeah. Yeah. It has no vacation. <laughs> Damnation knows no vacation. <laughs> You're That's hired. Quite... Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was, that was my audition tape. Yeah. Um, you can't fight City Hall. That has to be in every film in the 90s. You can't fight City Hall. Yeah. Um, you can't fight the actual City Hall. You just like punch him Michael a wall. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Father Carpenter calls Dana Sweet Thing. It's the second character to call her Sweet Thing. Hey now, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, she's irresistible. She is. I hate this. She, and then she she literally says two lines later, "I hate this town." <laughs> she, she, she's basically uh, uh, get, 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 get Caroline Monroe. Yeah, she is. Yeah, <laughs> you got all excited. You got all excited to talk about Caroline Monroe, then, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you know. It. Does the name Tommy Doyle mean anything to you? Nope. <laughs> Don't okay. Shit to me. <laughs> you don't mean shit to me. And then we're in a residential neighborhood. Okay, so I think trick or treat is starting now. Um, yeah, Michael's there. A little girl bumps into him. Hmm, familiar. Looks at his face. Um, he doesn't kill her. Then we meet Wendy. It's not Jamie. We meet, we, we, we meet Wendy now. Mickey and Bad News, Tommy's housemates, and Wendy, who is a 17-year-old blonde. You know the type. All attitude and ripped jeans. Crank, cranking the new Scorpion's taste, taste, tape. She wants to rock you like so, a hurricane. So we got Wendy and Mickey. So Mickey short for Mickey D's, right? McDonald's. Yeah, we got Wendy's, Wendy. Mickey's. Um, oh yeah. Let's see. Let's see what other friends they have. Arby's, maybe? Ronald, Arby? Um, Ronald, Grimace, <laughs> Robble, Robble, Hamburglar, <laughs> <The> Hamburglar, <laughs> <laughs> Michael versus Hamburglar. Um, <laughs> saved, saved by by Wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will gladly murder you Tuesday. <laughs> um, the pickup bed is equipped with an electric cable winch. Bad news limps. Oh man, is, is bad news going to die soon? I hope so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mickey, are we? Who's Mickey? Is Mickey? Mickey's not shot for Michael Myers now. Um, they're pulling a gravestone over. Oh, it's Judith Myers' gravestone. Oh, well, of, of course. Who else's gravestone would it be? They're laughing for doing that. They're laughing because they're dis they're desecrating her grave. Oh, man, these are worse than the Droogs. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, like I said, the further is... we go, the worse it gets. Yeah, a fissure is forming in the ground. A fissure, fissure. Um, several shafts of light. It's we're back to Hardy's from the hole. Um, a guy's eating some barbecue, and he say he calls him fat ass. We're closed, fat ass. <laughs> wow. Oh um, yeah. Uh, Har yeah. Hardly's a lovely person. Yeah, and obviously, ha yeah, Hardy Lomax um, is not going to get repeat custom. I don't think. Not not that way. No. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, anyway, he's dead now. <laughs> he drops like a he drops like a homesick brick. Let that one sink in. What does a homesick home brick drop like? Homesick brick. Homesick home brick. Brick. What's that even mean? I have no earthly idea what that means. Homesick brick. He drops yeah, like I'm, a homesick. I'm, I'm I'm looking that up. Homesick. Can a brick can a brick be homesick? Home oh my brick. word! You were right. Top top line of this next page. Yeah, I called it from the get go. <laughs> he picks up a Freddy Krueger mask, casts it aside. Picks up a Jason mask, casts it aside. At last, he picks yeah. up oh one of his God. signature Michael really? masks. He's like, "Up yours, other That's franchise." What does. I'm doing? Yeah. Okay. Um, Jack o' Lanterns. <laughs> Who's Bernie oh. Lomax? Who's yeah. Bernie Lomax? I don't know who Bernie Lomax is. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's too clever for me. Oh, you'll like this one. Um, Larry, who's commenting, will, will like this as well. Um, we mentioned about the Norman Rockwell mentioned, not because you're a big Norman Rockwell fan, but because he says this town is going to be a snooze. And then he says, um, Andy says, um, I'm going to go home and watch Night of the Living Dead. You ever seen that one, Dana? It's a classic. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> okay, Andy. And Dana goes, I missed it. Right, Dana, you can you can go now. Also, it's public domain, so we can show it in the film. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, but in, what in about the, the YouTube in, strikes? In the original film, didn't they watch the thing from outer space, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. um, then Dana and Andy, Dana and Andy, Dana and Andy, crazy priest, crazy priest. Trick or, the crazy trees goes trick or treat for no reason. <laughs> and then at and then Andy calls him a dumb prick. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Andy again? Oh my god, I have no idea. Um, is that I think I, that's one of the news people? I think. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Andy. Andy's the guy that likes Dana. Everyone likes Dana, but he he particularly likes her. Who doesn't like Dana? Yeah. Oh, weekend of Bernie, Bernie Lomax. Okay, maybe. Um. Okay, cre crepe pumpkins, paper witches, balloon got okay. We're well into Halloween time yeah. now. Judith Meyer's headstone headstone is still being pulled along, propped up against one wall, not unlike it appeared over PJ Souls' head in the first Halloween. Not unlike it, and by that we mean nice. exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So bad news is uh, making fun of Tommy now. He says he calls him they call him trembling Tommy. I don't think that works very well. And he says, yeah. go back to what you do. Go back to your hovel and do what you do best. And then he mimes a masturbatory gesture. Yeah. <laughs> um, yank the crank, pull the chain. Okay, then we go into a list of things that you can use because, you know, nothing goes unsaid in this movie. But so, but, but is, isn't this <laughs> is, isn't this the tips? <laughs> it's always is. Yeah. Isn't it the tips? Oh, yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. see that, man. <laughs> blow me oh man these guys are awful um and now uh, this is a new one for me put yank the crank okay that makes sense pull the chain just sounds like going to the bathroom shoot the pudding at the moon shooting pudding yeah i've not heard that one before it, 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 it's not a common one but i've, I've heard it but yeah it's it's, it's not common yeah because you wrote this that's why yeah oh, yeah and, uh, and make the bald man puke <laughs> Wow. No wonder Tommy takes one frightened glance at the headstone and <laughs> makes for the attic. He's just like, I don't want to stay here while you give me 37 different um, descriptions and <laughs> euphemisms for masturbate. Yeah. Uh, kill some babies, beat the bishop. Oh my word, it goes into a second page. It's like this guy is literally got like a dirty thesaurus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my word. Um, He's like, what else can I put in here? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Eight pages. Well, it's no wonder he threw it across the room. He's just like eight pages of just talking about different ways of calling masturbating. <laughs> um, sagging floorboards. Hand reaches out for Dana. It's only Ben Mika. Yeah. If, okay. So if if they would have filmed this, I think people would have walked out. Yeah. True. <laughs> Definitely in that last scene. Oh my um. God. It feels more like a Friday the Thirteenth with the kind of like frat boy guys with it. Um, yeah, but not as good as that either. No, not as good as that. No, not definitely even not that. as good. 
No, but like maybe that's what he's got in his head. Maybe he, the writer, had never seen a Halloween film. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Um, we've got yuppie fathers talking into their flip phones. <laughs> Zach Morris is there. <laughs> um, trick or treaters ignoring the brick, their homes. The so some of them have candles in their windows, and people walk past those ones when they're trick or treating. Uh, mm -hmm. The van is outside the Myers home. Ben Mika talks about losing his daughter. It's very sad. Um, and she cuts him off when she's probably got the best interview, which is somebody who lost a child in this <laughs> thing. Who's, and she just cuts him off and goes, yeah, that's fine, Mr. Mika. I'm really sorry. Um, Blake, <laughs> and Blake's really bored. And he says, he's the cameraman, isn't he? He says, I think I would rather murder my sister than live in a dump like this. Whoa. Canal. It's harsh. Little, just, just a little. Yeah. Um, we're still pulling, put, they still um, keep cutting back to Judith Myers' grave site. Um, caretaker's house. Yeah, caretaker's oh, house. house. He's missed this. The caretaker's missed the graves being smashed up. Oh, George Hopkins searches, I mean, marches toward them, and then Michael Myers. Oh, here we go. Michael Myers is here. Uh, they could have put Michael at this point. We know who they're talking about. <laughs> um, Clifton has a map that decides a cemetery. And says, uh, are we in the cemetery? We're in the cemetery now. Michael's there. Um, Michael enters the house, kicks over a bowl of candy. Now you've gone too far this time, Michael. <laughs> Michael, I thought you were uh, supposed to like Halloween. What the hell? <laughs> he bends down to pick up an econ economy size sugar daddy. Is that like a very small man? Uh, sugar daddy's a, a, a candy. What, like chocolate? Or? Yeah, something. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was I was never into this. Uh, I want to, um, guys. If you want to send me a sugar daddy, I will. Of any variety, any variety. Um, <laughs> um, he kills Beverly. Beverly is just an old woman who lives in a house that we've just met. Um, Michael. Uh, plunges the sugar daddy into her brain. He, oh, he, he must be very, quite hard. He, he's very into using non-sharp objects like rats yeah, and sugar daddy to whole film murder people in this one. Oh, he's looking for a knife. He finds it. He hefts it. He hefts it? The blade he gleams it. in the night. Is this a reunion of sorts? This is a reunion of Oh, sorry. Sorts. This is a reunion. It's not a question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> um, I'm Michael Myers. What? I'm Michael Myers. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is not a zoo. Okay, Dana, Judith Myers. Is, they found Judith Myers a stone. I don't know why they just drove it across town for no reason. Well, shit me okay. sideways. That's what, That's what he says. He says, shit me sideways. Shit me sideways. Hopkins toward the bottom. Well, of course, it's popular one around these parts. Shit me sideways. Shit me sideways. A good old fashioned desecration. Um, are your ears too clogged with ego? I love these crusty codger types. Oh, man. It's these big city guys and these little town folks. <laughs> Bam -banter. Miserable oh old God. guy. Okay, Michael, oh, okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to sketch, just going to skip between scenes when Michael appears now. So, this is. Yeah, so the all the all the the news people stuff reminds me of Scream. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I agree. And this and this was written before Scream. Yeah, this is trailblazing. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe um, Kevin Williamson got a hold of the script too. Yeah. Well Hopkins yeah, he could have done. Hopkins um comes back home and finds his wife. Um, splayed on about the linoleum. What an interesting sentence. Her face smeared with eye goo. With eye goo? Oh, that's because he stuck him in the face with a chocolate bar? I, I, I guess. Mm. <laughs> he draws back his piece. I'm hoping he talk, we're talking about his gun. Uh, <laughs> fires three shots at Myers. Um, Hopkins goes to his wife. He turns towards the telephone and collides with Michael, who's back on his feet. Let's go. Grabs him by his mouth, by his jaw, slams him face first into the counter, spits out a few bloody teeth. Um, over to the food processor. Uh oh. Stuffs Hopkins face into it all in caps and presses uh. puree. 
man. How old how how old was this guy when he wrote this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Was his name was Phil, Phil Rosenberg, is that his name? Phil Rosenberg, H H seven. Um for a gory five seconds, the caretaker's face is reduced to an ex exorated shredded pulp. Oh, he's left the pulp in. <laughs> um Michael retrieves his fallen weapon and returns to the house. Mickey and Bad News are wheeling to get these guys need to die. Um, for the they're getting kegs now. Tommy is reading his mythology books while they're at the party because you know Tommy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's Tommy. Uh, Dana is still doing another bit to camera. Oh no, she's reading. She's doing a bit of reading. Uh, oh no, reading to camera, and then that's it. And Andy, who's got, come along on the journey with it, he's literally just eating a hoagie. <laughs> so, okay, so in, in the description that I'm reading right now is of this version, it says, Michael Myers is a hobo living at the local homeless shelter. <laughs> like, you know, that would actually that would be funny if Michael was a hobo the whole time. It's just like yeah. traveling like you know, traveling like so the trains and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. just riding. He's got like um all his clothes and a handkerchief on a on a, like a stick. Yeah. Uh Tommy is tearing himself out of the virtual reality gear in a frenzy, turns around and he's been cut across the cheek by something. Oh, the virtual reality system came alive and cut him, of course. Frank and June Wallace, no relation to Tommy Lee, I guess, have let Dana and the crew into their house. Uh, talking to another family. They're just pestering everyone. I have read uh, fan fiction that is better than this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just saying. I want to read yours. We're reading yours next. Um, okay. Frank and I, we knew Michael's parents quite well. Oh, my word. Uh, we interview the Wallaces. Their only purpose is to have the same surname as Tommy Lee Wallace. Uh, Michael's mother sits across from them. Oh, it's a projector. So we see a projector of a young Michael um, frolicking in a swimming pool. Yes, because a... they had uh, ca uh, cameras that people could use in 1963. <laughs> Just um, It's an old, grainy old movie, it says. <laughs> I bet, it, I bet it was. It's when they thought that pictures would steal your soul. Um, Dana watches the old movie, squinting at it. The woman looks awfully familiar. Oh, it's her grandma. It's her grandma. She's Michael Myers' sister. Dana. <laughs> oh, Dana. Sorry, I've ruined the film. Um, no. The woman has on the side of her nose a moly, moly, mole. The size of a nickel, just like Dana's Grammy. Grammy Molly. Oh my god. Molly Grammy. What the what the fudge is going on? Of course. It was important that we noted that mole earlier on. It's yeah, a good job we were told very, to note the mole. I'm I'm so glad I know about that. Mm. I was just thinking about a little mole. He was a dad. Um, <laughs> Father Carpenter rubs his head, faces the camera, and says, Cute as a devil, isn't he? <laughs> Father, of course, you get your local priest in all your home movies. Wow. Indeed. Indeed. Um, indeed. What is going on, Frank? <laughs> it's Frank like, I know. I, Frank, it's like, like I'm a, trying to get the F out of here. Yeah, there's a whole page of description, and then it's just like, what's going on, Frank? <laughs> um, Michael's getting in through the peephole. He's going in the house dee, 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 after oh he's after the wallaces now so every time they interview someone they go to their house okay he goes he, he follows it and then kills those people um and they are still interviewing them and, and still interviewing them still and, still and then dana dana decides she wants to speak to tommy again um, so they leave the house, then they go back to Tommy's house. Okay. And Pinhead from the Hellraiser pictures <laughs> yes. answers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my God. Your suffering will be legendary. 
even in hell. Wow. Right. No way. Candid camera. Come in. Oh, and then he goes all like homely and yeah, welcoming. <laughs> We're looking for a Thomas Doyle. Pinhead laughs uttering them in. Oh, yeah. What the hell do you want with trembling? Oh, it's those guys, uh, Mickey and Dickie or whatever they um I can't remember what they were called. Um bad news. Mickey Arby's. Um uh, and Mickey says, Come on, girl, I can tell you about the time I got backstage passes to an Van Halen show, partied with Eddie and Alex. Hagar was a dick though, so can I say dick on TV? Oh my days. Um, chill, bro. You'll muss your burrow cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, god! They want to put Mickey. They want to put you on TV, Doyle. It's a new show, America's Most Nervous. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Tommy's nervous. We've sure. been only needed that once at the beginning, didn't we? Really? Okay. George Hopkins exactly facial right, jambalaya. But... Oh, he's he got mushed in the uh, <clears throat> food blender. He's, he, which we're describing as a facial jambalaya. <laughs> wow. Facial jambalaya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, channel 6 paints as a new edition. It now says channel 666. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, Halloween. Oh, no, I'm doing river dance again. Um <laughs> <laughs> Uh, something spooky back to the Wallaces. If I have to do one more story on Uncle Pete's non fat brownie, there we go. It's the um, callback from earlier on. Oh my gosh. Let's go back to the Myers, not the Maya. I, you know what? I, I would rather watch Uncle Pete's non fat brownies than <laughs> watch this one. Okay, so let's keep going. Keep going. What the fuck is he thinking? That's a I'm good skipping question. through a few pages here because this is ridiculous. It is. Um, there's a party. Uh, think, did this guy really think this was good? Like, I don't know, man. Like, seriously, I'd love to. I'd love to ask him about it. Um. Yeah. Let's see if let's see if we can get him. <laughs> um. Dana is just wandering around. This whole thing is just wandering. Just yeah. driving around, like looking for the film. Oh, Blake, Tony. Oh, Tony's dead. Tony's been slashed from ear to ear. We don't see it. Um, two very large muddy boots, though. Just stay fucking here. Okay, there's so no, there's no, there's no man in black. There's no. No. There's no, there's no Jamie either. Like what? Is, no, is, is, no. Is Jamie died, I guess. This Danny. Because Danny. yeah, Danny because Lloyd. earlier when Tommy was shouting out all the dead people's names, he said Jamie Lloyd. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. So I guess she just died. She's dead. She's dead. Yeah, she's dead. We don't know how, but she died <laughs> from crying at the end of the last film. She cried all of her moisture out of her body and died. Um, they yeah. after spending two full movies with her. She's... <laughs> Dead. Yeah, and, and we get Dana for the whole film. And we get Dana. Yeah, there, there is clearly. no Dana, only Zul. <laughs> there is no Jamie, only Dana. <laughs> <laughs> um, Myers punches an arm through the driver's window. He, and this is where he kills Clifton. Dana oh, is wild, Clifton. wild with fear. Who's Clifton again? <laughs> uh, one of the the the. the... News people. News people. Okay, got you. I remember now. This is why you're here. Um, <laughs> Dana drives out of a bog onto the highway. Just, I'm sure there's a driving in a van part in this film. I'm in sure the, Michael drives the, something as well. Yeah. And, and how the hell does he know how to drive? Near the end. So I guess if we're coming towards the end now. Um, she picks up a tripod ready to clobber. She's ready to clobber. We're ready. It's clobbering time. It's clobbering time. Dana, CM Dana. <laughs> um, Clifton drives Dana beside him. In some ways, I think that's why I've been having the dreams. Oh, she just talks about this dead calmly. All these people murdered and slashed. Different. Because, you know, that freak, we're linked. That freak is my older brother. Yeah, no shit. 
That's absurd, Dana. It's crazy. No, it's not. Those home movies, his parents. I have some old pictures of my real parents. They're close. And Grammy. That's my Grammy. That's, That's my, my Grammy. Grammy. That's my Grammy. Well, join us at eight for the new series of That's My Grammy. <laughs> As she poses with a Grammy Award. Yeah. <laughs> That's my Grammy. <laughs> my, my she gets Grammy. a Grammy for... Um, for, for, for acting, which is a really strange thing to do. <laughs> um, she's crying. And then she explains everything, Basil Exposition style. I think subconsciously I knew it's the first that attracted me to the story. I knew maybe you could call your Grammy. <laughs> Somebody better call your Grammy. <laughs> Somebody um, call your Grammy. <laughs> maybe she should answer your questions. Um, he hands her the van's cellular. Um, Dana considers, she thinks, what's a cellular? He <laughs> dials, because um, she's a millennial. Um, <laughs> the telephone rings. We float around the cramped flat, taking in the knickknacks, the trinkets, the doodads, the, the what do you call it, the who's it, yeah. the thingamajigs. The CB is on, a Christian fundamentalist station, a dude with a bad hair weave, hawking Jesus. What a dude. The dude. The dude. Um, the dude the bronze, of <laughs> Kurt Angle's there. Oh no, Angle, the bronze statue figurine, standing tough. Oof. Standing tough. Mm -hmm. Standing mm -hmm. tough. Um, <laughs> channel six ban. Channel six six six. You might want to say, um, dude. No, not dude. Dana clicks <laughs> off the. Dana, <laughs> dude. Dude, 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 Dana. Dana, dude. Dana. Um, where could she be at this time of night? She's probably out with one of her gentleman callers she was talking about before. She's out with Pat oh, Sajak. Yeah. Um, the van... Oh, okay, so then... Somebody shipping. Um, what, yeah. Father Carpenter is staggering out into the middle of the road. Son of a bitch, I could have killed you. My whole existence is flawed. He's shit-faced. Who says my whole existence is flawed? When my whole driving? existence is flawed. That's from Nine Inch Nails, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's, from, that's from Closer. My whole existence is flawed. So this guy is a proper edge lord, isn't he? he wrote this, um, wrote this script. <laughs> it, uh, it, it, it does get him closer to God, though. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trapped. The insects of one tonight. The denizens of the dirt. The intruders in the deluge. Darling girl, Big Brother is watching. What do you know about it? Twelve to one, baby. One to twelve. No one here should be by themselves. I don't. Please tell. <sighs> I, I, I don't think Mustafa Akkad got this far. No. It, wait, it was in the bin. <laughs> it was in the bin. Um, it was thrown across the And then Robert Clifton is airborne. Air Clifton. Grabbed from behind by Michael Myers. Standing behind Clifton. He has Clifton by the throat, lifting him into the air. Dana and the priest can only watch as the kitchen knife bursts from Clifton's stomach, scattering entrails like a cornucopia. <laughs> Father, Chris, Father, Chris, Father Carpenter, not Father Christmas. Big Brother is watching. Uh, Michael drops Clifton, faces Dana. She is white with terror, frozen. Let it go. He moves for her. Let it she go. backs up. Let it go. <laughs> She'll try to reason with it. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get taken down. Um, your beautiful <laughs> voice. They'll think it's the original version. Um, Father Carpenter tries to says to reason with him. After all, your family. Um. No, he stopped. He crushes Carpenter's right hand, crushing it like a beetle. Dick Carpenter does not scream, he looks enthralled. Mm. Uh, he Dana looks runs because he's not reading the script. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's like, I've done my lines, I just read all those lyrics, <laughs> all those lyrics you've written. Michael follows, mad as a weaver, mad as a weaver, not mad as a hatter. Mad as a weaver, okay, sure. Tatters on by Robert Clifton's corpse. Uh, Can priest, I priest. all of them now? I, I just oh, want to all of them. The priest is the black, um, the man in black. He's mm -hmm. the crazy, he's wearing the boots, black silver tube cap, tip cowboy boots. Maybe so, maybe, maybe, so. Uh, maybe not. Dogs bark, Dana's running. She's running now, like, like it's uh, life depends on it, like it's the final act. Um, Dana sits on the back with the kids, staring out the room mirror. She's in a micro bus. Whatever the hell it's like, is. It's like the end of um, uh, The Graduate. Mm. Dana! Michael Myers is like, Dana! <laughs> like, banging on the glass. 
Hello, doctor. As as, uh, as uh, Dana does the uh, the leg. Yeah. <laughs> it says Bouvier. Um. And then the kid offers her a joint. No thanks. Um, you're supposed to be a freaked out yuppie chick, right? <laughs> she gets to the dial house. Jello shots are being ingested. All right. Yeah. Costume kids. Bill and Hillary Clinton. Captain Kirk. Ah, nice. Few pirates. Few coneheads. Satan. Some girls clad in those skin tight <laughs> mice outfits. Skin tight mice outfits. And of course, Michael Myers mask, which can be bought from the foyer. <laughs> um, Dana enters her dizzying POV. Some kids are doing beer bongs. You get the idea. Yeah. yeah. It's a kid dressed as Michael Myers. Just they're... a Tuesday night in Louisiana. That's all. And of course, they're watching, they're watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre because they want to cover every horror film in this film. Ever, yeah. Um, she's watching it on TV. And then on the, on the wall inside the house is Judith Myers' headstone. And they make fun of him, thinking that she's come to like get it on with Tommy. Two couples are playing strip poker because you know one girl because we need one girl to be topless. Oh well, yeah. Um, another has her bra on. One of the guys is shirtless. You know. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, we see oh they're playing cards with the Ted Bundy, Albert Fish, Jeffrey Dahmer, Michael Myers, and Richard Ramirez cards. You got it. A full death house. Bundy, Ooh, this is very scream. This is very scream. Yeah. Uh, the stats, Lisa. Rotisserie us to death. Necrophile, cannibal, murderer. Cut off a girl's head. Disembem. They are flesh, organs. Yeah. All, yeah. All, all oh. that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the insane shrine. This she sees the Tommy's shrine. 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 Yeah. Also, I went a bit Sean Connery then. The insane shrine. 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 Laurie Strode. Um, he talks about Laurie Strode and then shows her his VR apparatus because, oh, you know, okay. girls, girls love that. Yeah. Um, Especially in 93 or 94, right? Yeah, man. Lawn mower man. Um, Plughead man rewired. Circuitry man three. <laughs> um, <laughs> the key is not to... <laughs> That's it. Yeah, they, they, they're going to bring lawnmower man into this too. <laughs> uh... So, the key, I think, is not to ban Halloween, just to ban Michael Myers' relatives. Oh, I see. But okay, what does so he want? Tommy, Tommy has the best line here. It's fucking mm -hmm. insane. It's fucking insane in the membrane. Yeah. Um, looks at the pictures of Laurie Strode. Is there a resemblance? No, because I'm not related to Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> um, <laughs> what does he want? Your blood, every last drop of it. Larry just said, I'd watch this film. Sounds more entertaining than Resurrection. True. It's true. But that's got Buster Rhymes, bro. I was just going to say, this This is lacking Buster Rhymes. Um, it's got everything else. Um, lots of people doing beer bongs dressed as Michael Myers. Uh, it's the death of summer. Tommy starts going on about, you know, Celtic stuff again. He wants um, to play basketball. I, I get it. I get it. Is, is Tommy gonna? Yeah. Is Tommy? Is Tommy gonna um, try and kill Michael in the virtual world? Oh, and then will that kill him in the real world? Like, in, I like... guess. Yeah. This is what happens when people start getting real. <laughs> um. Okay. Virtual. So now we're in the virtual other world, nether world. Oh. Can you imagine uh, Quentin Tarantino seeing the script and going? Yeah, I'll do it. Because he was literally <laughs> the first person they showed it to you after, and, and to like offer it to him to direct this script. And he, he was just like, Have you heard of anyone else who <laughs> <laughs> and um, literally anyone? Yeah. Uh again, the Myers, Judith Myers headstone. Oh. Um, he's smashing that up in virtual reality. Um, smashing trees up. What's going on, man? They, mm. it, it's gone full. It's gone full till insane. He's in, yeah. He's inside the virtual world now, doing a ceremony because he, he's he's marrying all the Celtic and folklore to virtual reality. Um, 
and he's doing a some sort that he's doing some sort of sacrifice to try and oh maybe if he kill he sacrifices her in the virtual world then Michael will leave them alone. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, then this we is... see young Michael. I don't know. This is wow. Like I, I, I can't. I, I can't even. Father Mike. Father Michael. Father Carpenter appears again. Um, she's watching him murder his sister in VR. <laughs> then they're back to the party, and Dracula's uh, upset that the keg's empty. I am very upset that the keg's empty. Yes. <laughs> oh, and then Jamie Lloyd's screaming face appears. She's in a cage made of human limbs and bones, rats the size of kittens, and kittens the size of rats. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and then Grandma's watching TV, and Vanna White reveals the puzzle's letters 12 to 1, baby. <laughs> and what the hell? A, a uh, young Judith Myers with sunken cheeks and nice insects. Nice. Capering out of one vacant eye socket, yells Michael. Michael, what? Okay. The, what is happening? Uh, men, uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get um, it. I think I've broken. I think I'm broke. Is that um, okay? So we're still back in. Herself out of the VR. Okay. Yeah, she's okay. out of the VR now. Um, cemetery. We've got to go to the cemetery. We've got to do this. Um, we've got it's twelve nineteen. Duh. We only have like what less than an hour. We gotta go. Must make haste. Fuck you, buddy. You before one before one o'clock, man. Um a pounding from beneath them. Michael Myers is in the bathroom. <laughs> standing <laughs> on top of the commode. Majestically. Yes. Um blasting doing, his way doing, through doing the floorboards the with his hands. He's smashing through a toilet from below. How can we respect this guy? <laughs> can you imagine if they made this? People would be like, "You've made him into a guy that smashes toilets." Not my, not my Michael. Not my He's not Michael my Michael. Yeah. Hashtag not my Michael Myers. He lives in a, he lives in a homeless shelter. He smashes toilets, <laughs> and he's in he, virtual reality. Uh... He's, he's a hobo. He's a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> he's a hobo Wait, what's toilet. What's that song? Hobo, slowbo humping, hobo, slowbo babe, or something. <laughs> um, he's still smashing through with two pages on, and he's still smashing through the floorboards. Is he smashing every floorboard? Um, yes. I don't know. I guess I didn't think that Michael didn't have another fucking sister. Yeah, well, that would be <laughs> stupid, wouldn't it? So yeah. So Larry just said, "Okay, if you could replace this film with one of the sequels, which one would you choose, and why?" Um, the I one can that is mine, but yeah, go on. I don't, I, is it I don't think you're going three. Like... <laughs> is it three? It is three. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's any of them except for three. Um, all, of the, all of them minus three. <laughs> all of them minus three. Maybe, um, I don't know. I'm, mm, maybe maybe Resurrection. Yeah, maybe Resurrection. I don't know. Let's yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I would say Resurrection is, is my least favorite. Uh, oh, Mr. Sandman starts playing reference to uh, Back to the Future. That's always good. And um, and Freddy, and Freddy, of course, Freddy yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because he's seen Freddy. This this writer's definitely seen Freddy. Oh, um, for sure. Yeah, the VR is a bit Freddy as well. Um, Tommy is trying to fight him. He says, "Come here, you bastard! Now that I see you here, you don't scare me at all." And then he leaps in terror because you know, terrified yeah, Tommy. That's he, what, that's what he, we call terrified him. Tommy or whatever. Terrified right? Tommy, trembling yeah. Tommy. Trembling Tommy, there we go. I've said it 12 times and I still forgot. Um, <laughs> three dead at this moment. Um, Father Carpenter is being a crazy loon again. And on So is, is Father Carpenter like the Loomis character? In, in yeah, this yeah. Movie? He's like, yeah, but even more insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is true. This is uh, when we do Hell World. This will be reminders of the VR from this from this film. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Where's Gareth? Where's Gareth when we need him? Yeah. Oh, no, this is this is this, Gareth would would never speak to us again if we made him. <laughs> um, uh, Michael's hand claws from the portal, grabbing her leg down from the Netherworld. 
Um, she plunges the figurine into his mask, into his eye. At least it's not a chocolate bar or like a rat. It's a rat. Everything's, yeah. Everything in this film is just smushing things into people's faces. It is. It's very, yeah. yeah. This, this, guy, this guy definitely has a fetish. Yeah. Smush face. And the end. Oh, shit. Hang on. Maybe we just <laughs> wait, 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 what happened? <laughs> so the portal gobbles him up like a tasty morsel. A flash of right light comes from its bowels, a howl, then silence. Dana crabs away from the hole, a mess. Headlights come from the cemetery drive, a red pickup. Mickey drives, bad news, and Tommy beside him. Tommy leaps from the truck, goes to Dana. Are you okay? Dana nods, staring at the portal. Oh, he's shot off into a portal. Tommy mm -hmm. glances into it, diffident. He motions to the kids in the truck. They back the truck up. You back the truck up. A motor hums. It is in the winch. They are lowering her headstone back into its rightful place to close him in, I guess. Mickey and Bad News rain so terrified. Oh, now who's a scaredy cat. Um, <laughs> lower, lower. Then with a deep resounding sucking noise like this film, the portal is sealed. Dana gets to her feet. She begins to walk away. Dana, Tommy, goodbye, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, where are you going? She looks back at him, her eyes resolute. I've got a story to file. Uh, you said that perfectly. And with that, she walks through the graveyard. No one's going to believe this story. VR, no. smushing <laughs> people in the face with chocolate bars. The rain has stopped. Tommy looks after her, confused. He's not the only one. And then we see something on the ground. He picks it up. It's the figurine. The figurine? He calls after her, raising the figurine. The figurine of... Figurine of Jason X that he holds, <laughs> raising the figurine. Dana, but she is gone, lost to us amidst the silent tombs and markers. Tommy shrugs, perhaps he'll need it again someday. Oh, that's even better. I've got the Terminator. <laughs> that's nice. That's a good figurine. <laughs> yeah, it's a good figurine, man. And then he sees the clock on the truck's dashboard. It is 1 14. Duh. Father Carpenter is sat on the tombstone nearby. He breaks out into a gale of giggles. <laughs> <laughs> so we replaced by the Halloween theme music. Oh the end. The end. Thank God. Thank God it's over. Okay, wow. so marks marks out of ten for our first um unmade script reading. Wow. That was that was special. It's good. That you're welcome. And by special, I mean horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what would have made this better? Go on. The Terminator. He's the, he's the only person that wasn't mentioned in it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, everything else. Every film you can think of was in, was wow. in this. That was... That was... Oh, God. Next time I mean, you're it, doing them, you're doing the reading part, and I'm doing the comment. It's probably not the tired. worst thing I've I've read, but it's not good either. <laughs> hold me, Jason. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold me, Jason. Hold me. <laughs> Tell me that's not a real movie. It's not. It's Please. okay. It never got Thank made. Goodness. Thank goodness they didn't go with that. Yeah, you can see why Tarantino was like, "Have you tried getting in touch with the Evil Dead guys? They can <laughs> write films. <laughs> <laughs> they, like you know, they they do like you know decent films. You know." Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. films that, you know, don't involve smushing people and smushing VR rats and... Into, into faces. And... Yeah, and droogs. And droogs. Don't do droogs, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I man. Can't... Oh, wow. wow. That was awesome. That was that awesomely was... terrible. That was that was a great way to spend a Sunday. So, guys, if you want Al or myself to make this film for real... um. Just, just put it in the comments, and we'll uh... give it. Yeah, give give us like a thousand likes. Yeah, and we'll and we'll make it happen. Yeah, we'll go on Kickstarter and make this film. Yeah, Halloween six six six, the origin. Yeah, the awful, awful origin. Wow. <laughs> I mean, and, and 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 people think the theatrical version is bad. Yeah, this makes you really appreciate what you get. It really does. And, yeah, and like Dana's not even a character in any of these films. Like we, Dana never got some. We never got to see Dana. No, no. Rest That's in probably peace. a good thing. Well, mm -hmm. maybe not because she's supposed to be gorgeous. So That's true. She's beautiful. So Tommy, uh, yeah, so Tommy. Who, who, who would you cast as Dana and Tommy? Ooh. Maybe like Dana. Maybe like Courtney Cox at that time would have been good. Thinking of the scream. Well, thing. no, no. Well, let's do it now. Like, like who would Oh, you now. Name? Yeah. Who would you name? Um, I mean, I, I have a thought. 
Sweeney. Okay, Sydney Sweeney. No. Okay. Um, I'm thinking Alexander Daddario. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good yeah. one. There you go. Uh, but then, okay, who, so then who becomes the Tommy's twenty nine? Uh, Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> Might as Mia well. What the hell? Yeah, Mia Goth would be good as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because it is yeah, batshit. Like, um... It is bat. Yeah, it is batshit. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. Mm. It, it is a little bit more in her wheelhouse, I guess. Yeah. Who would be Tommy? Who would you have as Tommy? Oh gosh. Um. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of like your answer better, Paul, Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Paul, Paul Rudd, but playing it at the same age he played Tommy the last time. Yeah, yeah, because he looks exactly the same, so it, it it would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's perfectly fine. I know maybe um, Zac Efron. I don't know. Zac Efron, I was under. There would be like um a kind of Disney feel to it, but I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, the Rock. You, you must you must have thrown, throw Disney in there too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, The Rock, I think, would make you, you, a good... You get everybody um, else in there. So. Father Carpenter. Um, George Carlin would have been a good Father Carpenter. Yes, 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 definitely, definitely. Or John Carpenter. But, 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 I'm, but I'm thinking, right, I'm thinking now, I'm thinking the actual John Carpenter playing Yeah, Father yeah, yeah me too, me too. I think he would be perfect. Yeah. I, think he, um, I think he totally nailed it. Skarsgård, yeah. Skarsgård plays everybody. He would be, he would be all the characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Including, <laughs> including Dana. <laughs> including Dana. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who would be who would who would play Dana, but we'll, we'll, once we get funding, we can think about that later. Who 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 would you get to play Michael though? Ooh, uh, Vern Troyer. That that could work. Yeah, sure. Paul McCartney was he? Is he available? Oh my God. I've always wanted to meet him, so like we could just yeah, cast yeah, him. There you go. It'd be perfect. Yeah. yeah. I, Brett, I, I Brett Hart. Him on as Michael Myers. Brett Hart would be a good um, Michael Myers. He he would. He's, he 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 has the build for it. Yeah. 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 Believable punches. You want someone with a good believable? Punch. I you guess do. we could we could we could just do like the guy who wrote it did, and just like have somebody like. Um, um, Robert England or Kane Hodder or someone like from a film that he's actually seen. <laughs> he he would probably love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have done nearly two hours of this film, and I think um, somehow this this should have been part of the surviving series. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This was tough. This was. Tough. I was. I was. I genuinely did think it might be good, but yeah, I was wrong. It, it, I mean, it, it had potential, and then it just... Yeah, yeah it started off. And, yeah, as soon as the VR came in. And the yeah, the VR thing wasn't, was like, no. And the, no. the droogs. Yeah, and the droogs. Yeah, yeah. And the it just droogs don't work. Got worse. And it, yeah. the thing, that's the thing. I don't know how it, it just progressively got worse as it went. Yeah, more... In, more like, I don't mind... I, I, to be fair, I would like to watch this film. I would watch it. I just think it would be really entertaining in a really bad way. A really bad way, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be boring. Kind of, kind of like it wouldn't be boring. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be boring for sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. Any final words? Any Jerry Springer's final thoughts? Uh, um, you know, uh, take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hodder. Yeah, we could have Kane Hodder. I'll have a word with him. I'll message him later and see what he says. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, guys, uh, thanks for joining us on this trip into movie history. Should you, should this film have been made? What do you think? Let us know. Should Let's we know. make this film? We'll do a five minute version of it. VR we... headsets and everything. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Let us know in the comments. We'll totally do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to say the famous um, Alucard sign off? Sure, sure. Until next time. Adiosi, Bella Lugosi. Awkward pause.